tag Diddy and Fungi Lobby and leave. This jump is really easy on Nintendo 64. You want to turn your camera to, to where Kremlin Isle is visible, and it generates a lot of lag and you can make it across really easily. Otherwise, for Virtual Console, you want to aim towards this horizontal ledge that's closest to you. Otherwise, you're just not going to make it. This jump can be very tricky. So you're going to cartwheel, jump, and aerial attack. If you want to practice that jump, it's best to have the Fungi Cannon unlocked, because on Virtual Console, you cannot make the return trip. Fungi is higher than this platform, and you, you just simply cannot make that jump at all. So either way, open the switch, grab the banana. Now we're going to do a Z slide again, hold Z coming off the edge. Once you're around where the vines are, you can let go of Z. Sometimes you'll make it onto land, sometimes you won't, it's not a big deal. You're going to take warp 3, tag Chunky. Take warp 1 and go turning key 5. Again, down right to leave. Take warp 1 and then warp 2 to go up to Aztec. But instead of going into Aztec, we're going to head over here. Pick up the second boulder because this has Chunky's music pad. And play triangle for a banana. Can be kind of tricky. You're gonna jump out and then kind of just jam your control stick up right and do an aerial attack. I just walked off so I can demonstrate it again. If you miss it, you'll come down here to just take warp two back up and try again. It's not that big of a deal. It can be very tricky to learn this jump. So again, jump, jam your control stick, and into caves. You're going to come to the right, punch this wall. Tag Lanky. I got a fake long jump. If you let go of Z too quickly, when you I think it's if you let go of Z the same frame you press A for a long jump, you'll get a fake. So you can backflip up that crystal and get up the rocket barrel here. You will play guitar for a banana. If you have the right camera angle and have a good position, you can get the banana to drop and bounce onto you. I didn't get it there. Come over here and enter caves. So caves can be the most difficult level to learn in no levels early because of the falling rocks. If you've ever played this game casually, you probably went and killed the giant kosher that makes it rain rocks. We don't have time to do that. So you're gonna come over here as Diddy, attack both of these groups. Still as Diddy because he has a higher jump, it makes this easier. Jump out of the water. Backflip up these rocks. And tag DK up here. 
SDK, we're gonna roll over to his blueprint. This is a round where the first rock cutscene will start. You can pull out your gun and shoot his blast. If you get the kill, you can get the blueprint as the cutscene starts. If you don't get it, don't worry about it. Just kill the. You can um, stand under, like right next to the wall. There's a little part where the wall sticks out and you're safe from rocks there. And you can just kill Kislev there. But either way, you're gonna come back to the castle, tag Lanky. And this is the entire reason we grabbed headphones in Factory. So we're gonna jump up here, get to the top of the castle, stand on the edge of the baboon balloon pad, use it. On N64, this isn't as hard. On Virtual Console, you have to be really careful because it really looks like you're not going to make it. As soon as you land, play the trombone because both a falling rock cutscene is going gonna, is gonna to start and Kasplat's going to come after you. Playing your instrument will stop a falling rocks cutscene, so if you really don't want to deal with them and you have instrument ammo, go ahead and play it and it'll just make the cutscene go away. But that is why we grab instrument ammo in factory for that one Kasplat. So we're gonna come up here. This is the Tudo Zinger. It's really hard to see the actual Zinger, but it drops grenades extremely fast. So we're gonna come over here, do a moon kick on this slope. I missed it. Come over to the right, it's a little blind. And you're gonna do this drop and scoff portal on top of the cabin. We're gonna fight Armadillo's DK, so just mooncake into the boss arena. Oops. Went a little too far. First three phases of the second Armadillo fight are the exact same as the first Armadillo fight, only the last phase changes. Well, they do have a little addition, but you still have to do the fireballs and behind the barrel. See up if you're on N64 to reduce the lag. Then roll into him and take damage so it skips the rolling phase. And here I like to jump on the tag on the not the tag barrel, the TNT barrel just for style. He's gonna shockwave the ground. On N64, it's very important that you see up here to reduce lag because this part gets very laggy. If you're on top of the barrel, the shockwave won't hit you, but you'll have to jump on top of it every time. Come over here. You can plant the barrel in front of him and then roll away to make sure the fireballs don't hit it. That way, as soon as his nose pops out after shooting fireballs, he'll take damage. You can also do that in the first time we do a fight, but it's much more difficult. Again, take damage to skip the rolling. Jump on the barrel and look down. Follow him. Make sure his cannons don't explode the barrel. It's very easy for that to happen without you noticing it. Place the barrel in front of him. Placing the barrel in front of him isn't necessary, it's just a nice little time save. If you can't do it, it's not a huge deal, you can just throw the barrel like normal. So this is where the fight is longer now, and he does something completely different. He's still going to shock roll and shockwave here. This time he'll do three shockwaves. On N64, you can jump on these crystals in the corner to reduce the lag. Virtual console, you can just stay here because there's not very much. So you're gonna pick up the barrel and follow him. You can't damage him there as much as it looks like his nose is into it. So really quickly, you're gonna want to set the barrel down and try and roll away. Make sure the fireball doesn't explode the barrel. Position so that the barrels between you and Armadillo. Blow yourself up on the missile and hit it. Again, it's not that important if you don't get the barrel placed correctly. After hitting yourself with the missile, just throw the barrel at him. Like normal from the pad. Now 
our DK, we can jump down, play the bongos, and enter the rotating room. So some people will argue that this trick is the hardest trick in the run. It's the third of the big four ledge kicks, and you have to kick off this little thing in the middle. So I got a second try, so I'll demonstrate it again. So I like, st like to stand about here where this little black mark is. Jump back and just spam B. When you're doing the kick, um, once you're above, like against this wall here, there's not a good way. You want to do a turnaround jump facing towards the camera. So you hold down and jump and then move up to kind of move back into the wall. So I'll try and do it again. This is unfortunately a really fast paced trick, so it's hard to demonstrate all the different parts of it quickly or slowly. Of course I can't get the kick again. So then you're gonna turn around, jump, hold, turn around, jump, hold down, press A, and then hold up immediately. Aerial attack to get onto this, and then just backflip up to the banana. If you can't do that, there's a puzzle where you just mat, ground pound the colors and match them, and the banana will come down. It's not horribly slow to do. I think it's about 20 or 30 seconds slower than getting the first strike kick, so it's really not that bad. After that, you're gonna leave. Tag Tiny over by the finger. Come up here and get a blueprint. That was a weird camera. Take warp two. Jump in the water here. You're gonna jump out here. And you're gonna want to kick jump from this corner and tag warp four. So you can kick jump, jump, and ponytail twirl on the warp four. And from here, I'm gonna pause so the rocks don't knock me off. You can either jump forward and go around the normal way to Cranky's. Or you can... I fell off. You can kick slide, jump ponytail twirl back to where you came from. Come to this plat come to this ledge here. Jump across. Now I'm gonna run around while I explain this because the rocks... You're gonna do what's called a slow climb for Tiny. So you're gonna kick slide, jump, kick slide, jump, kick slide, jump. I did it, I did it too slow trying to explain it. But it's just, just a series of kick slide jumps. So I'll demonstrate that again. That's all it is. You just kick, slide, jump, kick, slide, jump up the slope. If you start sliding, uh, double tap A to kind of jump ponytail twirl and stop yourself in place. And then you can continue kick sliding. So here we're going to tag Diddy, jump to the rocket barrel. And we're going to go out of bounds. If you fly all the way up here, there's a ceiling. If you come up here, because of that boom blast, there's a raised ceiling. So if you come up to the raised ceiling and then fly back where the lower ceiling is, you just get out of bounds. You just forgot to put that there. So now if you follow the level, you can see it faintly below you. You can just stay in the middle if you're not confident with your movement. So follow the level, get to Funkies over here. There's this ice wall on the other side. Once you go past it, start to lower yourself. And you're at Diddy's Blueprint. Take warp four. I forgot to mention, there is a soft lock warning there. If you do not tag warp four with Tiny and do the Diddy out of bounds, you have absolutely no way of getting out of here. 
This is blocked by Mini Monkey. There's no orange clips out. The room's not laggy enough. There's no rocket barrel clips that you can get back out. There's just nothing. So if you forget to tag Warp 4 with Tiny, your run is going to be over. So just keep that in mind as you're running through caves. Do not forget Warp 4. We call that the Sea Fox. So we've done Diddy's Out of Bounds. We're going to come over here to this igloo area. Attack Chunky. My falling rock cycles are really messed up because of demonstrating things. If you go fast enough, you're going to get falling rocks around here. So just be really careful with the Kisplat and the Shockwaves and the rock falling rocks. Fill the Kisplat here. Get his blueprint. Take warp one. We're almost done. We're gonna come down here. Swim through vertical walls. Either of these two walls works. You can even swim into the corner. Head into this room. Use the gorilla gone pad and just grab the banana. It's just there. That was probably. We have a theory that that was one of the last things they added into the game because that was supposed to be a room for the ice key from Banjo Kazooie. And so we feel like they just kind of threw something there when they realized that Stop and Swap was not going to work. So now we're done with caves, we jump down, punch the other ice wall. Doesn't really matter if you hit that switch, there's no cutscene that plays. Come over here. There's two ways to get this banana. You can either do a ceiling kick on this crystal, which is extremely difficult. I just got it. Alright. Um, the way ceiling kicks work is if there is a ceiling... If DK is taller than the ceiling and you do a moon kick... Uh, if you do the inputs for a moon kick, it'll just happen. But the better way to do that, or not the better way, but the easier way to do this is to stand on the very edge of this platform here. Throw an orange. Damage yourself and get the banana. And I actually need to go answer the door real quick. I apologize for stopping in the middle of the tutorial. Um, this is a good time since we're between levels anyway, but I need to go answer my door because I believe my new roommate's here, so I will be right back.